In Lua, variables are flexible. You don't need to write if their type is string or boolean. All you need to type is whether they are private or public. And you can do it by writing local or leaving it empty. If you write local, it's private. If you write, if you write nothing, it's public. As you can see, I can assign a string to the variable I just created without a problem or a number and actually change it halfway through. As you can see, I have written a string to the number I created before. You can also create booleans. Also, the there is also another type in Lua, which is nil, which means it's not it's it has no information about what the uh, variable is functions need to be created before getting executed in lua so if you write a function after calling it it won't work you need to create it then call it as you can see functions are working as you think they should you can have an input here to function and you can have an output by writing return if you don't write return it will just make the calculation or the or whatever you want it to be and then stop without returning if we write print f1 in here as you can see, one will go as an input, it will get plus five and print as six. If statements look like that in Lua, if f1 is equal to six, which we know is true, and is male, which we know is true, print this. This function, this if statement will print the string in it. This if statement will also print in it. Even though the first boolean is false, the sec since the second boolean is true and there is a or between them, it will print the string in it. Tables. There are tables in Lua which are used for arrays or object like components, etc. You can place any information you want into a table and they are created by these brackets. You just write if it's public or private, the name, and place these brackets. You need to place a comma between informations. So these are the tables. As you can see, if we read the player.hp and check if it's bigger than zero, min minus 40 it's every time, it will print out 100 at first because it is printing before minus 40 in it, and 60 and 20 later. Now I am going to show you the execution of the code line by line. You can see the outputs on the terminal below. Also, this is how you concatenate in Lua with double dots instead of a plus.
as you can see the code ended